Turkish-made drones are manhandling Russian armor in Ukraine. The Bagraktar 2 terabytes unmanned system is making its presence known, and the Russians are feeling the heat. While the Ukrainian drone doesn't have the numbers to be completely decisive, it is making the job of attriting Russian tanks and armored vehicles that much easier. The success of the Bagraktar has elicited news and ads and cheers from the Ukrainian operators and has given military personnel a needed morale boost. The Bagraktar entered the scene on February 27th when the Ukrainian military released a video of the drone destroying our Russian anti-aircraft system and sending Russian soldiers to an early grave. This quickly made the rounds on Twitter with at least a million views and got social media users fired up. The drone even has a song written about it. This is more evidence that Ukraine may be winning the propaganda and information war. The Ukrainian military command got excited too as it announced on March 1st the Turkish-made drone removed one Russian ANK and two surface-to-air missile systems from the battlefield. The drones are also creating havoc on a Russian convoy, is having destroyed fuel trucks and logistics vehicles. At least one successful strike happened in the city of Chernobyl in southern Ukraine. The commander of Ukraine's Air Force, Lieutenant General Mykola Oleschuk, said the Bagraktar 2 terabytes drones are life-giving in our Facebook post, according to the Wall Street Journal. The medium altitude, long-range Bagraktars are not large, in fact, they are many times lighter than American Reaper drones. But they punch above their weight, having killed at least 32 Russian vehicles. But like all claims of Russian casualties, that number is difficult to confirm. The Ukrainians have been using the bag since 2019, although there are only about 20 in service. The drone can loiter for around 24 hours with a ceiling of 25000 feet. Drone operators can be up to 185 miles away. In September, the Ukrainians ordered 24 drones from Turkish defense contractor Bay Karmakina. The Turks can't make them fast enough so the Ukrainians have agreed to produce their engines. The drones also have laser range finders and laser designators to target enemy vehicles for additional strikes from fighters or artillery. The Bagraktors have a monocoque design and integrates an inverse V-tail structure. The fuselage is made of carbon fiber, Kevlar, and hybrid composites, according to Defense News. The payload is 121 pounds with a 105 horsepower engine, and it only flies around 80 miles per hour. But it comes equipped with four smart micro munition laser guided missiles that have proved their metal when Azerbaijan used them against Armenia in the Nagorno Karabakh conflict of 2020. It is surprising the Russians are falling prey to the bag -rectors. Russia reportedly has an electronic warfare system called Belladonna that can incapacitate drones. This shows that Russian armored columns are advancing without proper air defenses. It is not clear why the Russian ground forces do not have enough air cover. This is another practice that Russia is usually proficient in, having fought in Syria for so long. The Russians have also not taken out drone bases that control and service the Turkish-made unmanned vehicle. They will have to adjust tactics and bring in electronic warfare and jamming systems to defend against the Bagraktars. So far, Russia is not using a lot of its own drones in Ukraine. That will probably change as the Russian forces adjust their offensive and defensive operations, but currently, it appears that Ukraine has the edge in unmanned warfare and will continue to knock out Russian vehicles from the sky as the world looks on with enthusiasm. Ukraine's Air Force confirmed two strikes on Russian targets by Turkish-made drones, evidence that Kyiv is using the drones effectively against Moscow's invading forces. The chief of Ukraine's Air Force, Lieutenant General Mykola Oeschuk, called the Bag Raptor 2 terabytes drone life-giving in our Facebook post.
A video posted on Twitter by the Ukrainian embassy in Ankara showed a convoy of more than a dozen vehicles consumed by a fireball and a plume of smoke. The embassy tweeted two more videos taken out the window of a moving vehicle showing the charge wreckage of military vehicles. The Ukrainian Air Force confirmed that one of these videos depicted the result of a two terabyte strike in the town of Chernobyl, in southern Ukraine, an area that has experienced serious fighting over the past couple of days. Never a rose without a thorn, the embassy wrote in one of the tweets. Russian invaders have to put up with bad rector TB2s. The embassy called the strike divine justice for a Russian airstrike that killed 34 Turkish soldiers in Syria on this date two years ago. Ukraine began receiving shipments of the Turkish-made drones in 2019 and has been using their high-powered cameras to view the battlefield and laser-correct artillery strikes. The two terabytes can stay aloft for 24 hours with an altitude ceiling of roughly 25000 feet. A remote pilot can fly the drone from as far away as 185 miles weather permitting. Let's go!